making money, trading the markets is simple, but not easy. Today, I'm going to show you three things that you need to look out for that's going to show you in advance what is very likely to occur so you know when to buy and when to sell. And today, we're going to use Quant, a cryptocurrency, as an example because it's displaying very nice chart patterns, but it applies to all markets and all time frames. So let's dive straight in. So with Quant, I did a video on this on September 29th. And what we said on the 29th was we've had this nice five wave movement to the upside. We've had a nice pullback. And at this point, we don't know what the market's going to do. Is it going to be an ABC and then a move to the downside? Or is it going to have a continuation to the upside? The latter is what's occurred. And now we're going to do an update where we can see based on three factors that you must know that's going to show us what is very likely to occur next to you know when to buy and when to sell. So this is the quant live data right now. And we're going to cover, again, three things. One of them is going to be momentum on a higher degree time frame, which tells us the trend, the macro trend. And we always want to really trade in the direction of the macro trend. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make a lot of money from the markets, you want to learn my four secrets that you must know to make money trading the markets, whether it's crypto, stocks, commodities, forex, it's all the same thing because what do they all have in common? Buying and selling behavior and crowd psychology. This is free, it's in the description link below, but we're going to cover three of these elements at a high level. So first things first with quant. This is a daily chart. I'm going to pop out of this daily chart because what's likely to occur is a movement to the downside, right? A movement to the downside. And the three factors that are pointing towards this, right? Just neutral, independent, in the sense of no bias over here, whether you love quant or you don't, whether you're, whether you're holding it or you're not, whether you're trading long or short, we're just going to look at the objective information that we can read and then make a decision on. So I'm going to pop out of this chart and I'm going to go into a weekly chart, which is I hold in the top left-hand corner. So this is a weekly chart of quant. And the first, first things first I want you to really pay special attention to is the momentum indicator at the bottom of the chart. It's the blue and the red line. It's called a stochastic RSR and RSI, sorry. And it measures the momentum, rate of change of the market. But what's really important, keeping it really, really simple, is that when the blue line tends to cross below the red, quant tends to have a local high, right? And it's been sideways to down. Blue line goes above or below the red, and it was sideways to down. So where is the momentum right now? Well, it's in this range over here. So it tells us that the weekly momentum or the weekly top is at or near completion. So the upside should be limited. And then over the next few weeks, we're probably going to anticipate sideways to down. So this is just a clue, right? It's one of the three things that we're going to look at today. That's a clue that says, okay, if you're in profits, probably take some profits with quant. It could shoot to the upside because anything can happen in the market. But the probability states that we might be coming towards a weekly top. Now going back into the daily chart, we're keeping the top right-hand corner. Second thing we're going to look at is pattern position, right? Pattern position. And what's really, really clear with quant is that we've had this nice five-wave movement that we spoke about in the last YouTube video. Now looking at this, this next five-wave movement, it looks almost identical to the first, right? Can you see it? This identifies this as a ABC correction. So it looks like the market is making a one or an A, two or a B, three or a C. Now he's like, well, what the heck is that, Shakir? Well, I'm talking about something called Elliott Wave Theory. It basically is an easy way of us measuring the psychological buying and selling behavior of crowd psychology, how people are really viewing quant right now. And wave A's, so wave A's and wave C's, they tend to be identical. Like, not, not like 100%, but close. They almost mirror each other. And if we look at this in an objective manner, and we go, actually, this, this almost looks just identical, this part here and this part here. That's the second clue, right? That's the second clue that says, oh, we might just be making some type of textbook A, B, C correction, right? Because this is a nice five-wave sequence, right? So that's the second clue. The third clue, and by the way, with these clues, I call them secrets, right? I go into a lot of depth in layman's terms with the four secrets that you must know to make money trading the markets in a consistent, objective, mechanical way where you're not falling for FOMO, fear of missing out, 
uh, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, where you can just do it in a mechanical manner. It's free, it's in the description link below. I'm telling you, it will take your trading to the next level, which means making money to the next level. So the next part, so we've done momentum, we've done pattern, is gonna be price ratios, right? Price ratios. So what I've done for you already is I've measured how far did this price move up and I've projected that from here. And that's what this red line is, right? It's called 100% alternate price pro projection or a price extension. And this is commonly the typical wave C, right? And if the price now overlaps into this range over here, this is a sign of weakness. And that displays that quant is then highly likely to continue to make a breakout below this low over here. So we're gonna be on high alert. So I'm just gonna finish off with one last thing. We're gonna do something quite precise. It's two Fibonacci ratios, which are very powerful for end of wave fives. Very powerful indeed. One of my absolute favorite things for identifying end of wave fives. Right, there's two particular ratios. I'm gonna do the simple one first called an external retracement, where we basically measure the peak of wave three and the low of wave four. And the two ratios that we want, which is where wave fives more often than not end, is 1.272 and 1.618. Right? And we can see that quant is right in that range over here. Right? So that tells us that this is likely to be a wave five high. But to get a bit more of a confluence of events, in fact, we're going to do two more. Actually. We're going to do three in total, two more, which I've just spotted, which I basically, I teach this in the masterclass, by the way. Uh, we're going to measure wave one to wave three, because that has a relationship to wave five. There's three ratios, but the two most important ones are 38.2 and 62%. And we can see that, again, it's in that range with quant. Very, very important. And then last but not least, when wave three is the extended wave, so this wave, when this is much bigger than wave one and five, more often than not, wave one and five equal each other. Like, slow down, Shakir. Slow down. What? Come again? All right, this is wave one, and this is wave five. And often they'll equal each other. So we can actually measure this. So we can measure wave one. We'll just do it on the right hand side so it's clear for us to see. We're gonna measure wave one. We're gonna project it from the low of wave four. And the ratio that we want, the most consistent one is the 100%. And you can see it's right in that range. So what this tells us is that this is a likely local high for quant. And we're probably gonna get some type of reaction to the downside. Now, we don't know exactly what it's going to be, but more often than not, it's a minimum of 50%, right? So what I'm gonna show you here is don't be overly surprised if quant retraces a minimum of 50% towards the downside. And then we can look at the momentum position, the pattern position to see what this looks like, if that is the case. But because it's gonna be an overlap, if this occurs, and you can see the price is moving down already, if this occurs, then we might just have to reevaluate the whole bullishness of quant. Weekly momentum is overbought, which means we're anticipating down. Pattern indicates end of a wave five of a potential wave C. That's two degrees of pattern position. And then we've got three clusters of Fibonacci price. These are significant things on the crowd psychology. And if you want to learn how to do this yourself for all markets, we're not only just talking about Bitcoin and crypto, we're talking about gold, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about any market where there's human buying and selling behavior, you must take my, you really want to take my four secrets, which are the four things you must know to really make money trading the markets. And that's what we're using over here with Quant. So what do you think? Do you think Quant's going to continue up? Do you think it's going to continue down? Let me know in the comments. Found value of today. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you're liking my content and then uh, YouTube kind of goes, right, we're going to show this to more people. Feel free to share this as well. Let's finish with a quote. It's from my, my book. We're going to go with chapter two today. I always start the chapters with a quote. It's from Warren Buffett. He says, rule number one, never lose money. And rule number two is never forget rule number one. And that's really, really powerful for us because when we're looking at quant, we're looking at an objective mechanical, non-emotional way. And we used three of the things today and we used them at a basic level. Momentum, that tells us the macro trend. We got pattern, we looked at two degrees of wave five of a potential wave C. 
And then we use something called Fibonacci ratios, which allows us to measure the psychology of these waves and the relationship that they have to one another. And if you can understand these relationships, then you can anticipate what's really likely that's going to occur. And quant is showing a particular typical pattern, but this applies to all markets and all time frames. So like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you very soon.